Hello everyone and welcome to Minecraft 119 here on Season 5 of the Afterlife SMP server. And it'll be great. We need to read you. <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay, calm it down with your veganism. Whoa! Oh, oh no! Hold on. This is a robbery! Um, I think I caught something from Hugh. But before we get to whatever that was, let's go back to the beginning and see how these self-proclaimed professionals start a new season on SMP. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Afterlife Season 5. Today we are in the presence of so many Afterlife members, some of the best across the land, some of the, I guess, most scariest as well, and kind of like... Restart, awesome. restart, restart, restart. Cut! Quiet on the set. Scene! Afterlife Season 5 intro, take two. Action! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Afterlife Season 5. Today we have traveled across all the wildlands to now come across this one beautiful area. I think it's very beautiful. I mean, I know you guys haven't really seen it, um, but we have come together as a group. You know, we have lots of great builders. Uh, we have one great redstoner here. And I think we have a couple, you know, kind of like moderate redstoners here as well. Um, and then we have normal Minecrafters and then whatever you want to name them as well. But today we have one very special announcement that this is doom is our newest member who will be joining us for the season hopefully you know, let's go we're able to get along yeah, with nice. them right you know uh i do hear that you know there is a little bit of bad blood between doom and bp so we we do have to like we might have to choose a side i think we'll, we'll have mm -hmm. to see though um so this should be an entirely you know interesting season i think you know hopefully we're going to be living in much closer quarters and getting in the trouble potentially pranks uh encouraging other members to fall to their death and get their first death uh but i do want to point out though on our tab list if we take a look that we're all at zero and that's because we are currently tracking all of our crafting so you know if you make a block you know make a workbench you know that should hopefully show up there but i am not going to keep rambling because i think i've already rambled enough um and unless anybody else has something to say, we can officially start then. There's a creeper yeah. over there. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say. We could like... <laughs> Let's go. Geronimo! Here we go. All right. I call this like Go away. Start off. <laughs> and with that perfectly executed welcome, we all set off in a flurry of directions. Now, being the newest member on the server, I wasn't 100% sure what I was going to do or wanted to do. So, I decided I would just run around the spawn area, getting to know the area, and gather up some important early game items. Oh. Almost? <laughs> come on, Art. Come on, Art. I believe. Ah! It's Almost not getting there. close enough. Maybe catch, catch him at the very top. Well, nice. yes! Thank Mine. you! Mine. Have a nice day. <laughs> Ooh, first diamonds. Shiny blue rocks. We have no space. Let's sacrifice the floors. Then after caving for a while, I met up with some of the other Afterlife members to welcome Blonde Skunk to the silver. Okay, calm it down with your veganism. Whoa. No, 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 no. Don't eat this stuff. This is... Take, take the rotten flesh. Just take... No, 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 no. You Ash, don't, you don't want this stuff. You, you want it oh, look up. at all Snibble, these. Skunk. Yeah. It makes right you now. really smelly. Here you go. Take that fresh I, force on I nibble mm. on this. It's so slurpy. Yeah, and... just... yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like beef jerky. Oh, there's horses over here. Oh, wait. All right. Yeah, there's a lot of horses. Gather around. Gather, gather around. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wait, somebody took my bed. Who's my yellow bed? I, I would like on the record that I did not steal Jay's yellow bed. I actually stole this from a villager. Anyway, after the failed attempt at telling spooky stories, Artovian paid me and Broken Pixel a visit. And let's just say, even this early on in the season, we had good reason not to trust him. Uh oh. Doom! Um, uh, hold on. This is a robbery! Uh, this is a robbery. This is a robbery. No. No. This is a robbery. No. Yes, You're outnumbered. Is. We have weapons. So after running away, I decided to hide my valuables and watch how the robbery was going. And all I have to say is, I don't think our Tovian is going to be the next Robin Hood anytime soon. Get in the hole. They've, You're trying they've to just abandoned you here. It's kind of chaotic. Well, it's, it's a, a tough world. There's a lot of storylines going on. Yeah, all I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know. No. 
gosh. I think I'm gonna build my house right over there. You see that? You see that spot right over there? Yeah, house. Thank you. Happy. Okay. I told you enjoy them too. You can't move. You, you see, you can't move on the pig. Hey, you change, you change, change your hair? Yeah, yeah, yes, I changed my hair. <laughs> I'm new bone now. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, like... I'm you. Oh, that's so nice weird. To... Wait, crouch again. Crouch again. Oh, yo, I see my head through Hugh's head. Oh, wait, I have an idea. <gasps> What's your idea? Okay, this is not probably, you know, wise, but, you know, I've seen it done once before, and I think it was season two. You can breed player pigs. What? <laughs> okay, I mean, I don't oh, want to be the you, skinny pig. You see, pig. like, that hue bone player pig? We can breed it with somebody well, else. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the new guy. <laughs> well, I mean, he kind of has to log off for that. I don't know if we want to force him off. <laughs> All right, well, where initiation. can we get it? Yeah, initiation. That seems we'll like an extreme initiation. We'll breeding. Call it the breeding initiation, and it'll be great. We need to breed you. Yes. <laughs> no, it's the other one. Uh, oh, geez, I, I forgot I had to be. Uh, I think, yeah, yeah, I realized that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah, good. yeah, yeah. You're good All now, right. dude. Oh, oh, my oh, God. oh. It's a monster. Okay. Oh my goodness, it has like half Scottish looks to it. I don't know how the Scottish pig looks, but it does. All right, you guys are spot. It's not what you think. You uh, it's exactly uh -huh. what you think. <laughs> it's exactly what I think. Uh, what is so, that? Uh, Doom, is you are son. a father. <laughs> Excuse me. We don't really can... understand how it turned out that oh, way, but oh, it did. I had to wash myself. <laughs> Imagine if it just like followed, started following him around. Same. I'm not gonna kill you, Doom, though. Not you. You're not a fish. What do you mean? I mean, kind of. You're cosplaying right now. Um, I, I think I, I caught something from Hugh. Oh. <laughs> um, That's him. Does anybody have some cream? Once I had gotten closely acquainted with some of the original Afterlife members, I teamed up with Broken Pixel to look for and farm up some materials for our starter bases because we were going to be using some of the same blocks. So the first thing we did was create an automatic wheat farm which we could use to make the new mud brick blocks. Then after the wheat situation was taken care of, we set out on an adventure to find one of the new mangrove swamps. We both wanted to get some mud for said mud brick blocks and I also needed the new mangrove wood for my base, so I made sure to grab a few saplings that I could bring back with me. And if you want a good way to cut down the new mangrove trees, I suggest pulling on top, then using a hoe to clear away the leaves before then using your axe to chop it down. Also, the new mangrove root blocks make for good fuel source early on. When we got back to spawn, I took over Broken Pixel's base area and spent some time chopping down a lot of mangrove trees while waiting for the copper blocks for my base to oxidise. And after doing this for a while, I headed into the nether with Broken Pixel because he wanted to grab some quartz and I needed to grab some warped wood. Once we got to the nether, we crossed your typical don't look down nether bridge and headed off into a fortress where we found this small weird warped forest. Well, I don't know if you can really call it a forest. And since that only had a couple of trees, we set off in search of a larger warped forest, but sadly after going through which felt like the largest crimson forest to ever exist, we had no luck in finding one. Instead, we came across another fortress, and this is when the worst possible thing that could happen on this journey happened. <coughs> and can I just point out that in the previous Afterlife season, Broken Pixel didn't die a single time, and now that I'm here, well, I think he's feeling the pressure. Right, so I just want this on camera. You're allowing me to kill you for these 32 bits of iron ore. Yes. Okay. I'll trust. <laughs> this isn't going well. But not to worry, after taking out the other skellies, I picked up the most important items to BP and managed to fight my way back home, even with my terrible sense of direction. And now that I've gathered up all of those materials, let's upgrade from a little makeshift campsite here. 
and get ourselves a nice starter base like our next door neighbour. And there we have it, the house, or at least the main building of the house, is all finished and complete. So for this season I wanted to go for something a bit different and after having a little look online I came across this noodle house and I really liked the shape of the building and thought it would give me a good challenge to see if I could actually turn it into a house. And as well as that I used a lot of red in the walls so that also gave me a good reason to use this new lovely red mangrove wood. Then if I have a look at the roof up here this is actually where I wanted to use some stripped warp wood but because as you've seen in the previous clip I wasn't able to get any I swapped it out with some cyan wool which actually matched up with this little overhang here so still fits in and blends in pretty well with the oxidized copper and the wool here and as well as the building i've done a little bit of work on the path tink and ash over at spawn here I actually have a path set up so i went with their design and i've only run up to here because there's a few people building over here that I haven't finished yet and once they've finished their builds i will hook this path up to them then we can all hook it up to spawn together then as well as a stone path leading to the front door i also added in a little dirt path going around the side and the back of the house where i have some more stuff there so if we come down the front of the house, down the stone path, you can see this is where one of the areas where I've took a little bit of creative liberties. In the picture they had some shelving up here which looks like they were either selling some stuff or had a little bit of a display but I decided to add an extra window to the building here just to bring in some more light and also made this little picnic area. So I've got these little seats set up with some slabs and some signs, little picnic blanket here, got some trap doors so I can add in some more greenery with these potted flowers. Then I've got this little barbecue station over here so I've got a campfire with some raw meat to be cooked up and then this little candle here isn't actually a candle, it's a bottle of sauce. Now what kind of sauce is it Doom? Well, it can be any kind of sauce that your heart desires. Then I've come round the side of the house here. This is the little dirt path I've added and I've mixed in some of these mud brick blocks because they fit in quite nicely with the dirt and path blocks, if I do say so. Then along the wall here, I've added in some flowering azalea leaves to create a little bush and add in some more colour to the build. And I've tied it into the walls with these mangrove signs here. Then I've also went about the area and hidden some lighting under this moss carpet just to stop the mobs from spawning over here because there's quite a lot been spawning. I'm guessing a lot of the caves have started to be lit up and I've also added in some vegetation just to add some more detail to there as well with the grass and the flowers. Then if I follow the path to the back of the house I've added some wood storage here, got some spare chests. Then I've got this, oh excuse me, Apologies for that interruption. So over at this side of the house, I've added in this horse station here just for some more detail to the build. And I do also want to get a horse to get about the early game. Because I'm not sure at this point when we're going to the end. So some fast travel with a horse is very much needed and welcomed. So I've just got some hay set up for food, a big nice trough here to, for it to drink out of, then a little post here where we can tie the horse up, and an item frame here just where I can store any spell leads as well. Then one of the other bits of creative liberty I took with the build, I couldn't see how this section was secured, but having it floating like that itself didn't seem very structurally sound. So I've used these new mud brick blocks and connected it with the wall, then I've tied them together with chains as well just to add some more detail to the build and make it actually look like it could hold this big section up. 
Then if you come on the inside of the house, I've started work on this fireplace that I want to add in here. Just need to clean out all of the mud and dirt and just got this little temporary setup. But if we come up the scaffold in here, we can get up to the top of the build. So I'm planning on having this as my bedroom and I'm probably going to add in at least one other floor to the build. And out here we have a nice little sort of viewing area where we can come and spy on our neighbours here. And I think over here we have white fire and over there is blonde skunk. So we'll be able to get a nice view out over the server all of the time. And then again, for some more detail, I've added a little custom open barrel here, some more barrels for random storage if I need it, and a nice pile of wood here that I've used for the building. And then if we look down here, this is a little sort of AC or HVAC unit I added in. Now, probably not needing to, and doesn't make much sense, but I thought it was a cool little bit of detail for that bit of the build, so I'm keeping it. But sadly, that's going to have to do it for the first video from the Afterlife SMP server. Let me know how you feel I did turning a noodle shop into an actual house and what you think about the red and blue colour scheme of the building. And don't worry, I will be finishing the interior in the next video, I just need to get a couple more items so it's all nice and perfect for all of you to see. Thank you very much for watching and be sure to like and subscribe for more Minecraft content in the future. To the left of your screen now you can find a video that YouTube thinks you would enjoy as well as my latest upload. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.